You never know when you're going to have a fire. You never know when you're going to be hit with a tragedy. And they felt like it just made much more sense to keep them in the community. It was a building that um, was an old firehouse and um, the building was empty for a number of years. So we felt it was a great decision to turn it into something that the people could actually use. The mayor says, of course they hope they never have to use it again. But that's just not realistic. Time will come and we'll have some type of an incident, whether it's one apartment or several apartments. We'll be able to keep them here on a temporary basis, maybe 30 days or less. Versus having them stay in a hotel, that's a lot of money wasted. So he takes that money and invested it in this place. Wonderful. This is just wonderful. There's 13 separate rooms, beautifully done. And the price tag to make it all happen? Between grant and additional funding the city put in through a bond, we spent a little over a million dollars on this facility, which when you go inside, I think you're going to see we really got our money's worth. Phil Murphy stopped by the grand opening of the Welcome Center, and Mayor Brian Stack says shows his commitment to urban communities. I think he cares about an urban community such as Union City, Hudson County, and I think that speaks volumes. He's a busy man. He's on a busy campaign schedule, and a stop by here really means a lot. Murphy says there are hundreds of thousands who have health care for the first time, millions with pre-existing conditions who have health care, and tens of thousands of kids who are on their parents' plans who have health care. All of that is at risk. Uh, Planned Parenthood is at risk. Women's access to contraception, seniors' access to vital drugs. It's all at risk. It'd be really good if the governor, the lieutenant governor, could stand up and speak strongly to defend the interests of all nine million of us in this state. We would be victim state number one if this health care bill were to be signed into law. It's bad. And when it comes to the criminalization of marijuana, Murphy's stance is largely a social justice one. I am supporting legalization of marijuana. We have the widest white, non-white gap of persons incarcerated in the country. One of the biggest contributing factors is low-end drug crime. Too many of our young people uh, are in the system for low-end drug crimes, and I want to put an end to that. In Union City, Jillian Risberg, Hudson TV.